Dark Trials is a quest that you might never heard of. If that's the case and you're wondering what's the point of this quest, well, the common reason people do this quest halfway is to get access to the Demons of Oramon, most likely the best spawn of demons in the game. Secondly, if you do it a bit further, then you will also unlock access to the Furies of Oramon, a forgotten but still decent spawn inside Oramon. And lastly, if you do finish the entire quest, you get the Engineer Outfits. If that sounds good, let's start. First, this quest doesn't have a lower requirement, but it is recommended to be over 200. You will also need other people to help with the quest, as there is a part that requires 2 people and there is 2 bosses for a 4-man team and a 5-man team, but their difficulty is not high, so less people can do them. Now, to start, in Oramon, head to the Magistrate building, talk to Esabeth and ask her for a mission, and then say Strange. Then head to the south exit and go left. After the stairs, you will find the NPC beggar, say hi, want, yes. From there, keep going west and reach the hunting grounds of the Oramon West. Here you need to take out 5 roots, they must be harvested by you, so do not pick them from the ground. You can also do this at the Minotaurs on the way to Oramon, and if you have done this before then it's not necessary to do it. Once you're done, by the entrance to the Oramon West spawn, there is the house of Chavis. Say hi, food, yes. After that, head southeast to the junkyard, go down and talk to the Beggar King. Here just say the blue text back to him. Once you're done, follow this path in order to reach Jacob and ask him for a mission. The mission consists of repairing the pipes and generators on the floor down. The ones you gotta repair will have black smoke coming out of them. Just click on them and keep tracking your head. You need to repair 20, so do 22 to be safe and then head back to and report to the NPC. After that, say abandon sewers. With that, you will have access to the demon spawn and you gotta follow this path to get there. When you leave or come from the city, you can follow this path as well. At the spawn, you gotta get to the end of the cave which is pretty far and will have a lot of demons and grims. This can be done by a duo or a full team. Keep in mind that later on you will need to do the first boss of 4 people. But for now, all you gotta do is get to the end and walk over those tiles. You can run there if you want to or just kill your way in. After that, head back to Jacob and tell him about the abandoned sewers. He will send you two Baraspas in the Magistrate building, who before giving you a mission will ask you to put a boat for the archives. Talk to Marvin and say funding, put one boat and then head back to Baraspas. Ask him about the abandoned sewers and he will tell you to get a necrometer from John Dream. But that NPC won't give you the necrometer unless you do the task of proving, so head to Double Day outside of the city and say proving. He will give you two items, and it's important that you make sure they land on a backpack that you won't be adding items to. Because if the proving device moves off a slot inside the backpack, it will break. You can ask for a new one, say in detector, but this has a wait time of 30 minutes, so don't mess up this part. You can equip a bag as your main slot before you ask him for the mission and then put that back in your backpack or just use your main backpack but be careful you don't take off equipment or get empty vials on it. This mission will require you to go to the deeper sewers to an area filled with fungus monsters. These are hard for a solo player and even duos so if possible come with a team. Head to the sewers and then here. Once at the fungus spawn you can start using the mono detector to find out a proven spot but this one in the second floor was enough for an entire team. Put the proven device on the fire field and then use it to receive a paper. Take turns to do this and if you get the quest log updated and the paper you're good to go. Head back to double day and say hi proving yes. Now, back to the main quest. In the Magistrate building, ask Jondrin for the Necrometer. With it, now you will be able to go through the wall at the demons and face the Ravager. So go back to the demons and pass the wall with another person or a team of 4 people. First, do not hit the boss and let the EK move it to the side. Then hit it once and he will summon Canopic Jars. These have an AoE attack that heals the monsters and the jars. So to start, just keep them in a corner away from the big jars as you must destroy the 4 greater Canopic Jars. If the mummies step on the great tiles with the lizards on it, they will also heal around them, but it's not as big as the canopic jars, so keeping those away is more important. Once all the big ones are destroyed, then attack the boss until he summons 8 small jars around him and then move him away from those, but make sure it is still within the vision of the boss or else he will start summoning again. Now just attack him and that's it. Go into teleport and open the chest to receive a bag with small rewards, and then open the box on the northwest to receive a notebook. Now head out and take that to Baraspas by saying no book. Then two floors up, talk with Sholi by following the blue text and say friend. Now go to the outside of the city on the west side over here and talk to Roswita and say Harshin. Then go southwest through the quest door to find the body of Quandon. Report this to Sholi by saying Quandon. Now go to Barnabas D and say this. He will need you to collect 15 blue pollen. Head to the Hydro Cave in the Oramon West area and just click on this to collect them. When you get the 15, take them to him and he will teleport you to another area with ghosts. Follow the path until you find the ghost of Quandon. Just say hi and he will tell you his story of how he died. Now head to Terence and say Manway Effort. 
If you haven't done one of the Minotaur tasks with him before this, he will need you to do that first. Head to the East Minotaurs and do the mission of supply crates. By using this crate, then go down to floors and use it on the water. Make sure you use it and don't throw it. Repeat 10 times and report to Terrence. Now you will have access to the Oramon Furies, which are by the northeast of Terrence, right here. And to finish up the quest, you need to head down to the last floor and face the Death Priest Chargren. On this boss, you only need to use GFBs or avalanches and hit it. This will kill the summons and stop them from getting upgraded. The spells works too as long as you make sure to hit the summons with it. The only thing you must not do is use SD, magic walls or tree walls, as those will summon death reapers that go straight for the mages. This boss doesn't have a cooldown, so you can repeat it right away if there's more than 5 people that need it to do it. Finish the boss and enter the teleport on the north and open the chest to receive another small reward. Now you have finished the quest and only need to say off it to Ezebeth to receive it. It will only be the base of it. If you want the add-ons, then you will need to have done more tasks of Oramon for over 150 points and then have at least casted one boat on each category there is. With that said, the quest is done and so is this video. Thank you for watching and see you again on the next one.